Everyone knows how to do research, right? If you want to know how to make that great taco you had, you'd Google it. But what about research for your classes? Where do you start? When you're researching for college-level work, it helps to know what types of information sources would be the best fit for your project. People create information sources using different processes to fulfill different needs, and the time it takes to create and disperse them varies. A tweet or a video documenting a first-hand event can be seen by people all over the world within minutes. Journalists might spend weeks or months investigating and writing a story, giving it more detail than a tweet can give. A scholarly paper or a book written years after the event can go into even more depth. Any of these can be a good source for a college paper if they are relevant to your topic. The hard part is deciding which sources would give you the best results for your needs. Do you need a primary source? Primary sources provide evidence of events from when the event occurred, so a tweet or a video of an event would be considered a primary source. Historical research often centers on primary sources. How was Frida Kahlo's work received when she was alive? In 1932, Kahlo was in Detroit with her husband, Diego Rivera, who was painting the murals in the Detroit Institute of Art. This newspaper article from the time refers to her as Senora Diego Rivera, a dabbler in art. A primary source can be an original work of art, like a movie, a poem, or a painting. Often, primary sources are personal, like diaries, letters, or scrapbooks. Sources directly from an era can give you insights into the topic that you're researching. Almost any publication can be a primary source, depending on how you use it. Usually, a magazine article would be a secondary source, but if you're researching house design before World War II, an article from the April 1940 issue of Architectural Forum becomes a primary source. Do you need secondary sources? Secondary sources interpret, analyze, or describe primary sources. A painting by Frida Kahlo is a primary source, but an analysis of the painting written by a scholar or art critic is a secondary source. A biography or a documentary about Frida Kahlo would be one too. Do you need a tertiary source? These summarize and digest the information in primary and secondary sources to provide background information on a topic. Examples include encyclopedias, dictionaries, Wikipedia, and other reference sources. These are great for getting an overview of your topic or for nailing down facts and dates. You should also consider who the audience is for a particular source. Popular sources are aimed at a general audience and are written in everyday language. Some examples of popular sources would be books, magazines, newspapers, blogs, social media, online news sites, and YouTube videos. Scholarly sources are created for an academic audience and aimed at students, researchers, and professors. Scholarly sources come in all kinds of formats, books, articles, scholarly encyclopedias, even podcasts or lectures on YouTube. Accessing scholarly sources can be expensive. Fortunately, you have free access to thousands of academic books, journals, and conference proceedings in the article databases we subscribe to. So where should you start your research? One strategy is to start broad and work your way into deeper or more complex sources as you learn more about your topic. Start with reference sources for an overview so you can narrow down your topic. Let's say you're working on a paper on house architecture in the United States in the 20th century. You could start by using the CCAD library to find a book like this one. After skimming the book, you narrow your topic to the Lustron House, a prefabricated enameled steel house manufactured in Columbus after World War II. To get an overview, you could read the Wikipedia article and use the reference section to find other sources. Next, you could look for books in our catalog or ones you can borrow through OhioLink. Then check our databases for magazine and journal articles. You could also check online repositories like the Internet Archive or visit local history collections for primary sources. So before you start researching, think about what types of information you need and the best places to look for them. Google and Wikipedia are great places to start, 
but the CCAD Packard Library and its resources can help you find quality information.